everyone. I wanted to um, check in today. I know I've done this before, um, but I wanted to put together a little travel list. I'm about to take a short trip and I wanted to show you what I bring as far as art supplies on the go. Um, and I'm going to give you a lot of options and different, uh, different brands so that it hopefully helps you in the process if you want to do your artwork while you are traveling. So this looks like a lot, and this is certainly not all the things I would bring. I would keep it a lot more minimal, um, but I want to give you some options. So if I'm going on a very quick weekend trip where I don't have a carry-on bag, I don't want to bring liquids, I am going to pack my artist roll. Um, and in my artist roll, I have my micron pens, my gel pen, um, a travel pen where you can put water in it. I have pencil stabilo, a variety of paint brushes, an eraser, a little palette, and then my Apple Pencil. Um, sometimes I like to just bring my iPad and actually work in Procreate a little bit as well. Um, and then in this little zipper, I'll just have my sharpener, um, a little scissors, just like a standard school glue stick, and then, um, you know, a kneaded eraser or a mono eraser is it. Um, and then, you know, bring some paper clips because you know, if you're um, collecting things on your go, whether it be maps or little newspaper clippings or bookmarks, um, these are great things you can take home with you if you don't do a lot of artwork when you're on the go. And then uh, if it's, again, if it's a short trip, I'll have that and I will just bring likely my watercolors and that's it. Um, and then my camera, of course, and a journal. So I love these delusions journals. You have a pocket where you could literally stick in all of your memorabilia from when you're traveling. They're really, really thick pages. Um, so, and they have a variety of sizes. They have this landscape, which is beautiful. Um, this kind of portrait size, which is smaller. Um, and then a larger size, um, which you could bring if you, if you like to work a little bit larger. Um, and so watercolors, I have quite a few that I like. Um, Ocean Paper has this beautiful set. This is usually my go-to because it's all in here. There's a lot of colors. Um, there's a lot for landscape. There's a lot for portraiture. Um, Wild Thorn has these really cute sets you put in these little tins. Um, but it gives me a good idea too that you could buy tins or use old Altoid tins and throw in some of these uh, loose watercolors that you might have. Arteza has some beautiful sets as well. Um, and then I also like these little, um, these little Prima, um, I think it's Prima, yeah. Prima Marketing Ink. Um, these little sets, they have like a landscape. They have, this one's like complexion. Um, and then you have a little piece of paper that you can put all the colors, which is really nice. So anything that's just small, you know, can fold up easily. I can work on this. I can put my water right here, um, whether I work with my little brush with the water squeezer or I'll just bring a little glass container um, or a spray bottle will work great. Um, another option is to bring water soluble crayons or colored pencils. Those work really, really well. And uh, especially if it's a short trip, you don't, you're not bringing a lot of liquid. Um, you can use the pencils or these crayons um, and they don't break up like pastels and they're easy. You could just throw them in a little tin or box um, and, and that's it. Um, the, I do have some of these, uh, Windsor Newton. These are some great watercolors, but again, um, liquid. So if you're limited there and you're worried about it, um, squeezing out all over the place, um, not the best option. Then, um, if I am going to bring more gouache is another great one on the on the go. So I love acrylics, um, but acrylic gouache is a lot like acrylics, but it dries really quick. So if you're doing quick paintings on the go, um, it's a wonderful, wonderful option. And then I'll just bring, I, I don't have it now, but just like this about this size of a uh, white gesso or clear gesso. And that is about it.
unless I am on a art specific trip, like an art workshop, or, you know, I've planned to go and paint in a certain area and do some plain air painting. I am not really an artist that likes to paint on the go very much. Um, that being said, I do sketch, I do bring a journal, I do draw out things, I put notes, I write places that I've been, I write restaurants down, any little um, memories that I know that six months from now I'll, I might forget. Um, but I always, always bring my camera. Um, if you don't have a DSLR camera, the iPhone is so good now. You could certainly take photos that way, but I love these mirrorless cameras. They're easy to travel with. Um, they're small, so I can take pictures really easily. Let's say I want to take portrait photos. It's not that really awkward, giant camera um, that once was. So I will take photos and photos and photos, and I'll bring that back to my studio and use it as inspiration. Um, but I'm always remembering to collect my ephemera, collect some, you know, little maps and things with different, um, different words on there, or different things that could inspire my artwork or my mixed media or my art journals when I get back home. Um, if you are someone that likes to work on the go, um, get out your sketchbook, do some drawing, do, do some pen work. Um, maybe you don't wanna bring paints, but you could sit there and sketch. Um, you know, there's nothing quite like sitting in front of a building and sketching live right there um, and really kind of capturing the essence and the movement of the city or the place that you are visiting. I hope this video helped you um, pack for your next trip or your next art trip. Um, I would love to hear what supplies that you like to take on the go and what you like to work on on your travels. Thank you so much for being here today.